Hello, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Samantha Lazarus Uluwak Pelume. And in this video, you will be learning question tags, structures, and rules. Can you like this video? Subscribe if you haven't and turn on your notification bell to support this channel and be updated. What are question tags? Question tags are short statements placed at the end of a sentence as a mini question. We use question tags to ask for confirmation. They suggest something like, is that right? Do you agree? Or what do you think? A question tag helps the speaker to emphasize his expression, confirm a notion, and even ask a question. So in other words, we use question tags to emphasize, confirm a notion, or ask a question. Identifying the tags. Tags are short additions that look like questions used at the end of a declarative sentence. A tag can be positive or negative. So for negative auxiliaries or tags, we have can't, won't, shouldn't, couldn't, wouldn't, didn't, hasn't. They are auxiliaries or tags that include not. When a tag denotes negativity, it includes not. It could be contracted or shortened. When I say contracted, I mean can't. The full word or the full expression is cannot. Now, the contracted form is can't. So, it's either you have can't or cannot. So, anytime you have can't, won't, shouldn't, couldn't, etc., you should know that it denotes, these words denotes negativity. Positive auxiliaries or tags can, will, should, did, would, has, etc. denotes positivity, hence they are classified under the positive tags or auxiliaries. They don't carry not. They don't have the word not or n apostrophe t attached to them. The structure and rules of question tags. The basic structure and general rule of question tag is if the main statement is positive, the question tag will be negative. And if the main statement is negative, the question tag will be positive. Example of negative statements, taking the positive tags. She didn't kill the goods, did she? The negative statement here is she didn't kill the goods. So it is taking the positive tag, did she? Did she? The second example, we can't bring her along, can we? Now, these two statements are negative and they are taking the positive tags. I'll go over them again. She didn't keep the goods, did she? We can't bring her along, can we? So, that is to buttress the point that a negative statement must take a positive tag. While for the positive statement taking the negative tag, we have, she killed the goat. Didn't she? We can bring her along. Can't we? Now, here, the positive statement is, she killed the goat. The negative tag is, didn't she? The, she killed the goat is, positive because it doesn't connote negativity as we can't see any word denoting negativity. And I told you earlier that a word that denotes negativity is not. So, so far the, in the sentence, we don't have not. This means that the sentence is in a positive form. The same explanation goes for the second example. We have, we can bring her along, can't we? This statement is positive, taking the negative tag. The rules of question tags. The first rule is negative plus positive. As I have explained earlier, the negative statement takes the positive tag. We have, she didn't kill the goods, did she? We can't bring her home, can we? So the second rule we have, positive plus negative, that is a positive statement takes a negative tag. We have examples here. She killed the goods, didn't she? We can bring it along, can't we? Other examples, 
The fans booed one of the players, didn't they? Mikel Obi is one of the valuable players in his club, isn't he? Davidos didn't sing with the band, did he? Nathaniel Bassi sings only with worship singers, doesn't he? He hasn't done much in the industry, as he. The third rule, where there is no auxiliary verb in the main sentence, use do form of verb to form the question tag. Use do or don't for the plural simple present tense. Use does or doesn't for singular simple present tense and use did or didn't for past tense. Let's take a look at some examples. These issues cause division among friends, don't they? The women never visit the widow, do they? The teacher hardly whips his students, does he? He came, didn't he? It seems that things are changing this season, doesn't it? I never heard of your class, did I? The above example signifies that the, there are no form of auxiliary verbs in the main sentences. Hence, we have to make use of do in the simple present tense form or the past tense. Four, let's take shall. Let's take shall. Let's begin the class, shall we? Let's run away, shall we? Let's is indicating that the subject is more than two. The subject is more than two, two or more. Hence, it takes shall we. Let's run away, shall we? Let's eat together, shall we? Rule five, when I am is used as the subject and the verb in the main sentence, use aren't high as your tag. I am getting it, aren't high. I am the boss here, aren't high. I am looking good. Aren't high? I am swimming. Aren't high? Kindly note this. If you create a question tag out of a statement that contains broad negative, that is words like never, seldom, hardly, scarcely, rarely, the tag is normally positive as this word denotes negativity. In addition to the guideline, you form your tag with the pronoun of the main subject, as seen in the examples created. Now, let's practice some questions together. I will drop the questions on the screen. Then, wherever you are, kindly choose the answer. I will give you five seconds to do that, after which the answer will be provided. You can also pause the video and choose your answer, then resume watching when you're done. The answer is can't you? Remember the second rule, a positive statement takes the negative tag. The answer is aren't high. When high am is used as the subject and the verb in the main sentence, use aren't high as your tag. The answer is don't you. When there is no auxiliary verb in the main sentence, use do form of verb to form your question tag. Kindly tell me your score in the comment section. I hope you had fun watching this video. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Take care.